Sometimes they have wood, sometimes they have plastic. I like the wooden ones better. Uh, they retain a little bit of moisture when you wet them before you start. And you usually want to take this little tip, the quill part, and work it between your fingernails a little bit so you get a little bit of a curve on it. That way when you put it down in the cell, it's already started a little bit of a curve. Uh, basically, I use a little flashlight. And, uh, Get down in there. You're, you want to look for eggs first, is what you want to look for. You want to find eggs because the queen's laying in a concentric pattern. So you find eggs and then you work your way in just to the edge of the eggs. And that's where you're going to find your youngest larva that you're going to, you're going to be getting. And you just get that down in there. And you want to make sure that when you're pulling it back out, you don't drag it against the cell wall. And there's our... Okay, hold it just a little. minute. Now, do, do you always come in from the back side, or do you just come in from any side of the larva? I, I've not seen it make any difference which side you come in from. Everybody says come in from the back side, from the curved side. When I'm doing it with this, I, I just go in yeah, yeah, basically yeah. the same direction on, on every arm. I would think you would have to. Yeah, and it, just, and it doesn't matter. And there's a little tweeny larva on there. Well, I've got a half a dozen of them. I'll spend a little time on it again. So the tool has a little bit of water. Larva out, it's on the tip of your tool. You're going to pretty much aim for the center of your queen the, cell cup. And you're just going to give it a little bend down at the center and a little push with your plunger and it'll come off and you back your plunger, back your tool out against the side of the cell wall. You don't want to come straight up with it. You just want to give it a little smooth motion and the larva will come off and your tool will be out of the way. You want to make sure that you don't flip the larva and when you're pulling it out of the cell, you always want to come out leaning against the cell wall with your paddle so that if you come out and you're bringing it out this way it'll roll the larva over and if the larva rolls over she can't breathe her spherical opening that she's breathing out of is now on the bottom and it'll die so okay.